Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. So today, we're heading to a place in Gildersum called the Workshop Cafe. Now it's quite intriguing this because I thought, I thought Workshop Cafe, what, what's that mean? Is some bloke there in tow workshop? Eh? Is, it, is, it, is it mechanical? Is he, has he got tow wood out? Is he doing a bit of, uh, what is it my mate says, woodery? <laughs> All right, is he making stuff? And then he's knocking out a few butties. I don't know. So let's go check it out and see what it's all about. Come on, caraman, let's get gone. Cafe workshop drinks are free. Lots of butties and ham sandwiches. We're going to try the cafe workshop. It's in Gildersum, so come and join me. Woo! Oh, that's it, guys. I'm on it today. I'm on it like a car bonnet. Woo! -ho -ho. Woo! -ho! I'm hungry. All right, it's not too far to go for me, and uh, I'm looking forward. It's like I say, it's a bit intriguing. Uh, I'm loving me old uh, beastie van here, old meal machine, just driving about. Driving along in my meal machine, honey. When I noticed you, I'm gonna come to a takeaway near you. I'm gonna eat it. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> hey, look at this old cycling club. That's it, this is what I like to see this. Remember when I were a kid at school going out on tow bikes? Had to get helmet on and get towed ivies on, driving around on, on me. I had a. I had a chopper. Anybody have a chopper? When you were a kid, I had a chopper, a bright red chopper, and I remember they used to paint the uh, like lamp posts or thingies, they used to paint them yellow. And I once. I got the chopper, I think I'd only had it for a couple of weeks, and I lent it up against it and I got this yellow paint stuck on the seat. Well, my dad went absolutely crackers. Oh, this money I've paid for this, and you go put it on that with paint. You won't happy. Anyway, what am I doing talking about choppers? Let's get to this cafe and see what it's all about. I'm going to fill myself up today, guys. I'm hungry, I'm starving. Absolutely. Hank Marvin. And I, I apologise for the, the tone of my voice and the way that I sound, because... You know, it's hay fever. Uh, I did a song last year. I think we ought to try and get it to number one. Hay fever does my life. Hay fever, please go away. If you want to know what the hay fever does, just listen to what the fat man says. It stings your eyes, burns your nose. Thank you, Mr. Hay fever. What do you think? <laughs> I've got another verse. We can crack on with that. We'll get it to number one this week. Go for it. What do you reckon, cameraman? The cameraman's up for it. He's sat here, he's got three bits of tissue, two up his nose, one in his ear. It's all going on. What do you think? Right, I don't think we're that far off here. So we're flying out to Old, to old Road at Gildersum and we're looking for a place called Workshop Cafe. So let's have a, have a, have a goosey gander. Listen to what the fat man says. It stings your eyes, burns your nose. Here we go, look. So, <laughs> is that it? Look, there we are, workshop cafe. It's like a road sign. Brown road sign, you know, like for an attraction. Here we go, right. It's a workshop. Workshop cafe, now serving coffee. Right, here we go. We'll get here, guys. We'll just pull up here, look at this. So, uh, open, opening times, Tuesday to Friday. That eight, eight, eight while two, Saturday, eight while twelve. The workshop cafe. Right, let's get in. See what's going on. And uh, see what they can work up. Because I've worked up an appetite, so this workshop better be the thing. Let's go. Whoa. Right, guys, here we go. <laughs> I've got that tune in my head now. Wow, oh, look at that, caravan. There's a tractor, fields, so it must be. Oh, more parking. Ah, oh, get in. La 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 la. Oh, set the old clips off. One, two, three. Right. Oh, a bit of road rage. Right. Oh, oh, oh guys, it looks alright this place. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, 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 here we go. It's like an old barn in here. Oh. I love you, right? I'm very good. You? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good. 
So, I've been recommending to come down and try out some, I hear you got salt and pepper going on or something like salt that. Salt pepper chicken burgers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What else do you recommend? Uh, we do the special omelettes. We recommend the special omelettes. What's that? Uh, it's like a bacon. Uh, hash brown, onions, mushrooms, all chopped up in an omelette. It's like a big breakfast, yeah, that breakfast sounds good. Omelette, yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll have one of them and the, yeah. um, and the chicken burger. Yeah. And, oh, what's that? Yeah, then one of those chips. Yeah. And the chicken bacon topped with barbecue sauce, they're really good. Yeah, I'll have one of them as well then, please. Yeah. And can I also have a bottle of water as well, oh, please? Yes, yeah, sir. How much is that then, look, please? Oh, lovely, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm just going to take a seat outside, love, if that's all right. Yeah. Are you all right to bring it all out lovely for us? Did I put yeah. a bottle of water on there? I didn't yeah, do yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. Right, cheers, love, thank you. Oh, right, guys, come on, let's go get set up. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 what a day, cameraman, what a day. Eh, this is what I call a place for... For, for lunch, dinner, breakfast. You can sit here, you can sit there, they've got benches outside, all right? You can take it away, pull up, drive off somewhere, or you can sit in, or you can do like me, sit outside and look at this, this beautiful countryside here. We'll get to old cameraman to uh, show you all in a bit, guys. Oh, here, look at this, cameraman. I'm coming for close up, this is where I'm a bit worried. Look at this, I've noticed which chair. Uh, Oh, <laughs> that is going to go, in it? And all I'm worried about, if I fall through this, I'm going to get stuck. Yeah. And I remember, when we bought this, that guy said that it's got two-year guarantee. So, if this goes, he's giving me a freebie. Right, let's <laughs> get knacker cracker away, and we've got proper chair tests going on again now. I'm worried. Right, here we go. Right, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, it's scaring because what I'm thinking is, it's like, will I fall through? If this gives way, will I go through this and be like sort of, like a, I don't know, like a trapped chicken or something. Be a laugh, won't it? Right. Oh, get my table up. Ready. I just noticed the other day, I thought, I hope, so much not right here. So, right guys, so it's workmen are in, coming here with the vans and pulling in. There's quite a few people here, sitting inside and outside. I can't wait for this, I'm getting hungry. Whoosh. Yeah, mate, thank right, you. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, mate, I appreciate it. I've gone for chicken, I've gone for all three, chicken burger, omelette and the uh, loaded fries. Yeah, but that looked nice, what you had. Yeah, what you come like once a week or something? Or if you're over this way, oh, we've just come all the way from Huddersfield just for that. Yeah. I want that just chicken and chips, chicken, yeah, salt and pepper chicken and chips. Yeah, oh, what should we have? Should we have it? We'll have it on a plate, please, love, while I'm sat out here, might as well. Yeah. Uh, be a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, be a couple of days. So you'll we'll be on. That's it. So, am I all right, Satya? Or are you gonna crush me? <laughs> See you later, guys. All right. Oh, so those those guys when I went into order, they they were sat down. They got the chicken and chips on the plate. It looked amazing. And they're coming all the way from Huddersfield to have this. Hey, do you know what? This is such a beautiful view. Sat here, I can see fields, the sheep. There's a windmill in the background over there. You've got, there's a few dark clouds coming there, but they're nice and clear there. Absolutely lovely. What a place. It's just like a, a little bit of gem, isn't it? Hopefully, if the food's good, I mean, these guys I've just been speaking to, they're travelling. They're travelling some mileage for chicken and chips. All right, the prices look to be good, and it could it could end up being, you know, I know it's a, a little cafe, but it could end up being a, one of those little little hidden gems just tucked away. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, c I can smell what's going on around. Oh, 
And I'm not talking about feels, I'm talking about food. Look at this guys, look at this here. Beautiful weather, beautiful fields. Cameraman's loving life. He likes it when it's like this because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. You know, the sun gets in my eyes a little bit. Sun gets in your eyes. For me, it's the air fever. It does me head in. But it's not too bad here at the minute, so we're all right. All right, pal. All right. Yeah, what are you up to? Uh, not really. Nothing? Yeah. Do you come down here a lot? Yeah. Yeah, is it nice? I just live on the side of Oh, you live over here, do you? Yeah. 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 Oh, so it's easy for you to come here? Yeah. 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 Where do you live? Me, I, I just live up road, not, not too far from here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You come so, well, like going all, all over. I go all over. Yeah. I've passed this place a few times, but I've never been. And then I've just been in now, it looks quite good. But you've got a big menu on, haven't they? Nice. Yeah, yeah. What, you have to photo? Yeah. Yeah, if you give it to the cameraman, he'll, he'll, he'll take a picture for you. Is it ready to go? Is it unlocked? Let's go. All right, come on, pal. There you go. So what, what are you having? Um, sausage and beef. Yeah. What, sandwich? Yeah. yeah. Don't get it down your jumper. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying the breakfast omelette, the big omelette, the salt and pepper chicken burger, and then I'm trying those loaded fries. Are they any good? Have you had any of them before? Very yeah. nice. Yeah, it's good. Nice one, mate. Enjoy your dinner. See you later, pal. Oh, what a lovely lad. Yeah, what a nice lad coming out having a chat. It looks very suave and all, doesn't it? All dressed up, tall lad. Hope you don't get beans down the top. So, yeah, it's, it's nice. Like I said, there was a few people in and out of this place, and it's it, it tucked just off the road, off the main road. But it's a road that probably people don't use as, off, as often because, they, you know, it's in and around Morley area, Gilderson, so you have to fly around. but. You know, like I said, I, I have drove past this place a few times and, and never really paid much attention to it, so I'm hoping it's a little hidden gem, like I say. Let's wait and see. Told cow, man, nearly got took out then. Somebody just come whizzing in it, car, boss. Nearly took him down. Oh, here we go. So there's, there's, there's parking here. I'm taking up a space. <laughs> I was parking here and there's a sign that says more parking this way, so I'm presuming you can park down there. Probably in their back garden, but it looks of it. Yeah. But what an idea. So I'm wondering, I'm thinking, looking around, seeing the fields, I can see a few tents over there for growing plants at the side of this house. So I'm sort of thinking this used to be some kind of workshop for whatever, for whatever thing, and they've converted it into a cafe. What an idea. If, if you've got the land and you've got the building, let's utilize it and bring some dough in. Yeah, that's what I say. Go for it. Oh. Hey, up. So, uh, since I've been here, there's been, what, five or six cars in and out, people coming in, getting takeaways, grab and goes, coming in, sitting down, having something to eat. So, it does seem like a popular little place, to be fair. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, hey, up here we go. Chicken Look at this. Burger. What's that? Is that yeah. a chicken burger? That's a chicken burger. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. There's your special omelette. Oh, my God. And there's your knife and fork. And a bottle of water as well, please. Well, thank you very much. Oh, my God, guys. Look at this. So, hey, up. We've got to this eating. Oh, look at that. So we can see what's what. Oh, yeah. So we've got so the salt and pepper chicken. With chips with this burger, that's seven quid. We've got four fifty on uh, on omelette and four quid on this. Oh my god, what a price! Lovely. Any sauces? No, I'm, I'm fine with that. Thank you. I love it. Looks great. Thank you very much. Don't Thank you. All at once. Oh well, I'll try not to. You enjoy your sausage and beans, and don't drop it down your top. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later, mate. Have a good one. There you go. Wow. <laughs> I've got to say. The smell coming off this is amazing, all right? And it's a little cafe. So I don't know what, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna start with omelette first, I think, because it's like a, a breakfast thing, isn't it? And before all beans run off. So let's move it, shuffle it all about. 
Right, look at that. So we've got a little bit of salad, beans, and we've got a breakfast on. Oh my God, that salt and pepper smells amazing. This... <laughs> oh, I'm wetting the toe whistle. Ice cold water, that's what you want. Right, let's get into this omelette. It look, they look like little cheese toasties, don't they? Look at them, look like little cheese toasties. Wow, I've never seen an omelette like that before in my life. How have they cooked that? Right, let's have a go. Let's cut into it. Oh, yes. So we've got mushrooms, onions, bacon, sausage. I'm going for it, guys. Let's cut this bit. Oh, I just can't. <laughs> I'm amazed at why they like little cheese toasties. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Now, that omelette, that is bursting with flavour. Mushrooms, onions, come on. That is next level. Right, let's get some, get some beans on here. The beans give it that bit of moisture, but it's full of filling. On the, on the outside, you've got the crusty bits of cheese. I'll try a bit of salad. <laughs> with a bit of omelette. Do you know what, guys? That is what I call a proper cafe omelette. You go, you go to these other places and it's all like white egg, like a white omelette. But this, you can see the cheese, look. All right, nice stringy cheese. You've got the filling, onions, bacon. It's all in there, all chopped up fine. <laughs> and then it's, it's done like a toasty. And the flavour of it, that is bang on. That is absolutely bang on. Right. So we're on four quid for that. This is 450 for loaded fries. So we've got bits of chicken, cheese, barbecue sauce. Is that bacon? Bits of bacon on there. So chicken, bacon, barbecue sauce, chips. Let's get into this. Nice and stringy. Wow. I've got to stress as well, it's all red up. So a nice barbecue sauce. We've got plenty of cheese in there. Bacon. Yes. Bits of chicken breast. I can see why these guys are coming from Huddersfield to have this at 450. So as you go deeper in, look, it's not just on top. It's like sort of layered. So you've got more and more filling as you go down. So the proper, proper cheese, cheese, mid cheese, and mid chippies. <laughs> One thing about this job that I don't like is the fact that the old cameraman will tell me off if I start eating it all. That would be amazing. Right. I'm going to wet my whistle because this. So this is like the dearest item that I bought. So it's seven quid, all right? And as soon as she brought it out, it was a bit of a showstopper. I thought, hey, oh, what's that? And we're talking about a little cabin workshop here. Knocking out this. So look how beautiful, vibrant and colourful it looks. So let's try these chips first. Oh, they're nice. Oh, it's still got a nice salty, salty, salty salt and pepper coating. But it's, it's absolutely <laughs> covered in it. Got a nice tang to it. Chips are nice. They're probably just about cooked for me, then. They're not, they're not overdone, they're not undercooked. Look when you want salt and pepper chips. Let's get some of this filling in here. Wow, you've got the freshness there. I hope. Oh, I think I've just had a chilli. I thought that was pepper. Whoa, whoa, that was, oh, some of them are chillies. Woo. <laughs> well, that got me. These, I thought that was a pepper. Looking at these, I thought, oh, look, there's bits of pepper here. Bits of chillies, so beware. Right. I'm going to have a look at this. So you've got, look at these big chicken steaks on a bed of salad. So you've got lettuce, onion, tomato, bit of mayo, and it's, it's been flavoured with salt and pepper. All right, let's go. Let's have a taste of this. Oh yeah. Oh. Do you know what? They've nailed this because they've done it as, a, as, as like a chicken steak. Well, let me show you. So because it's so thin, it makes for a good chicken burger. All right, the flavouring on there is amazing. The bread cake's good, the salad's nice and fresh. 
but the salt and pepper seasoning gives it a right nice tang the mayonnaise and the onion tones it down a little bit and amazingly it's not dry looking at it that I thought it would be but because it's thin it just goes well let's have it with a chip right let's go through it guys so we started off with the omelette it's like a cheese toasty it's full of onions mushrooms bacon basically it's, it's your breakfast all in an omelette there's lots of cheese on it it is bursting with flavor and it's it's like what i call like a proper cafe omelette bursting with flavor different textures in there a company with beans is nice even with salad it's nice four quid then we moved on to the the loaded fries barbecue loaded fries we've got chicken bacon cheese the cheese is melted all the way through the chips all right barbecue sauce it tastes amazing four pound fifty i think that's worth four pound fifty of anybody's money to be fair absolutely spot on and then this this was the showstopper for me when she brought it out i could see the chicken fillet so it's been flattened down the chicken fillet they're massive all right they're nice and thin they go well with burger you've got your fresh salad in there the mayonnaise with the salt and pepper flavoring absolutely spot on the chips have got the salt and pepper flavoring on just be careful of these i thought it were peppers but they're not the chilies but you've got bits of a spring onion look lying around it just gives it that bit of freshness seven quid value for money guys it's probably one of the best ones i've come along stumbled upon for a long time because i think you're getting big plates of food quality food for, for a little amount of money so for me if you've been here to tell workshop cafe let me know what you think if you've not been come down try it out but for me it, it's, it's probably an easy 10 it is an easy 10 for me because it's value for money it's tasty it's tingling my taste buds i'm going to crack on with this i don't know what to start with i'll see you next time come on man you need to get yourself a burger let's have it wow